We did this for one reason. There had never been anything like this in the United States of America, and there may never be another one again. That's the tragedy of what bestows upon us. Because we still haven't gotten to the point of understanding culture here. We still think in this room that there is a Latino race. We still think in this room that there are African races. We still think that there's a Caucasian race. We still think that there's an indigenous race, an Asian race. There's no such thing as a Latino race. There's only one race, and that's the human race, and you all know it. But you've been educated for the last 600 years, thanks to some Europeans in uh, France who decided to use the word race as a cultural determinant, meaning that it was okay to say that's the Caucasian race, you're uh, the Latino race. Uh, you know, that's racial you know, discrimination. When a bug doesn't like you, that's racial discrimination. <laughs> Get it? There's only one race, and that's the human race. And inside of the human race, there are beautiful cultures. Beautiful cultures. Beautiful Caucasian cultures. But you cannot tell me that the English are like the Irish. Ask them. <laughs> Make that mistake. Make that mistake. Call an Irishman or, or you know, a, Scot a Scottish person. Oh, you must be English. Oh, you must be, uh, you know, talk to an Australian. It's just like telling a Guatemalan that they must be Mexican. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> you know, they have nothing in common. They are distinct cultures. They have their own way of being. You know, and the Asians, Japanese, the Chinese, the Koreans, forget it. <laughs> forget it. You want to see intense differences <laughs> of feelings about one another? Talk to them individually about those cultures. They're all Asians, but boy, are they different. Well, that's the beauty of it. But with Americanos, what we did was that we went out and I got 32 of the finest photographers in the world, okay? 12 of them had won the Pulitzer. The rest of them had all won the Photojournalist of the Year Award. Okay, fantastic photographers, men and women. Incredible group of people. They all came in, I gave them all the, the film that they could shoot, and they shot for six months. They sent over 60,000 photographs back. And the only thing I said to them is, I want you to make sure that you show me the Latino culture and the contributions that they do in this country. That's the only requisite, right? And I said, and remember, if you don't show me the diversity of the Latino, I'll personally have to grab a camera and go out and do it. And sure enough, and if any of you, how many of you saw the Americanos project when it came out? Okay. Those of you who saw it were shocked because probably everybody else was shocked. Because you walk in and you see Caucasian faces, Latinos, you know, African faces. This is Latino, this is the contribution of Latinos to the United States. You know, indigenous faces. You know, you saw mezclados, you know. You saw every single culture. We were Latino. They were Latino already. And you know, you know why that is? Because Latinos will make love with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we were a Latino culture. <laughs> but we did that for that reason. It became really, because when, when African children walk through the exhibit, looking at Latino countries in the United States, and they're walking around, and all of a sudden they see, you know, Celia Cruz. <laughs> you know, an indigenous. I remember, I remember the three children that went to to uh, the three Asian. Yes. Uh, they were fantastic. They were Panamanian, okay, and they were just as chino as you can get, okay. And many of you look like them. <laughs> or Latinos, I should say, and they're like this. And you wonder why, what, what do you mean, why? Because we come from the Asian community. We are basically Asian-based, okay? We caught these three kids, one kid, the, the, the photographer went up to him, and, they were, and the kid was leaving for Harvard that morning. 
And the kid went, and the photographer went over to the guy's house at 4 30 in the morning, and he woke up his family, and there were the three brothers. The three brothers, two of them were going to Harvard, and one was at Princeton. And they were going back to school, and we took a photograph of them at about 5 15 in the morning, and they smiled like this in their house. And it was so beautiful because they looked like they were Chinese, and they did not look like they belonged to the Latino community, but yet they were full blown. Panamanians, they were so proud of being Latino. They were proud Latinos. And that's why we did Americanos, because we, first of all, don't have any contributions in this country. I dare anybody here to name me one American hero, national hero, just one national hero that you've studied any time in your life, male or female, born in the United States of America, of Latino descent. Not even Cesar Chavez is a national. If it wasn't for Martin Luther King, there wouldn't be one person of color in the United States of America that is a national hero. Do you think we have a long way to go? And you want to know farmers is actually the most advanced you know, corporation in America with culture? Come on, they're an insurance company. You know, but somebody got the bright idea of being inclusive in a time period when it's really dangerous to like Latinos. And you know, you know, they don't like us. It's too many. Too many of them.